Hey guys, it's Kim. Welcome back to my channel. Today we have another Instagram made me do it type review. And today I will be comparing three jewelry brands. And so I'll be comparing Majuri, Mason Miru, and Ana Luisa. So they do offer slightly different types of selections, but I'm sure you've seen these brands and maybe have even debated in your head, which should I order from first or which has like better quality, better pricing. So yeah, I'll just go over some of the pieces that I have bought. Again, this is definitely not like extensive. I don't own everything from all of these brands, but just to get you a feel about the products and some pricing and material comparison. So the first brand that I'm gonna start with is Majuri. That's the first one I ordered from. And now that I'm making this video, I'm like, maybe I should have checked pronunciation for everything. But anyway, you have definitely seen this brand around and I have ordered a few pieces from them. So, and they are things that I wear every single day. So if you've seen any of my other videos, you have probably seen me wearing this necklace. So this is the Zodiac necklace and I'm a Virgo. And here I like wear it every single day. That's why I decided to wear a different necklace instead of this one. And I really, really love it. So I have the gold vermeil version. Really my idea in buying from these brands was that I wanted to have more, less of a costume, costume jewelry, jewelry collection, but I also really didn't want to go into the super fine jewelry. I just don't have the money for that. I'm a grad student, but finding that middle range of jewelry that is more fine and more long lasting being gold plated versus having things that like very, very cheap, but still being more affordable than buying something that is solid gold. So all of these brands have kind of that option. They do tend to offer gold vermeil versions and like solid gold versions. So you can read kind of what each piece is and what your price range is. But I really like gold vermeil and gold plated. I haven't had any problems with it for any of these brands rubbing off or tarnishing. And so I love the look of, of having the gold pieces. And this Zodiac necklace is also for the stones is white sapphires. So again, instead of having the like solid gold and diamond, it is gold plated. And their gold vermeil for Majuri is 18 karat gold over sterling silver. And has the white sapphires. And it's just a great piece. I, like I said, I wear it every day. I do try to remember to remove it before I'm taking a shower. So I will take it off at night. I have accidentally worn it in the shower, but I do tend to take it off. They do suggest like being careful with lotions or perfumes because that can erode it but I haven't had any problems. I try, you know, like I said, to not wear it in the shower. And whenever I'm spraying perfume, I try not to spray directly on it, but I'm also not that precious with it. And after a year of daily wear, I haven't noticed, you know, any tarnishing or flaking of the gold plating. So the Zodiac necklace from Majuri, the gold vermeil and white, white sapphire version is $90. And from them, you can also get a 14 karat yellow gold with the diamonds instead of the white sapphires for $375. So there's a huge price difference between those. But if it is something that you want to build up your like super fine jewelry collection, a lot of their styles are available in kind of both formats. Next from New Jury that I have are these editor hoops. So these are some hoop earrings. And again, these are in the gold for May. They are $70 and it's 18 karat gold over a sterling silver. So I love these earrings. I, whenever I was going out, you know, not staying home, I would wear these every day with the Zodiac necklace. And this was like a cute combo. It's stylish and fun without being too like trendy. So I feel like these have like a very 70s, 80s take, but it's kind of timeless in that way. So I really, really like these earrings and they're a good middle size of a hoop. They're not too small, but they're also not too large. I do love me a big hoop every once in a while, but I feel like these are great for work and and play because of their kind of interesting shape, but they're not too big of a size. I've also ordered one more piece from a jury as a gift to my sister. I got her the tarot moon necklace and that's $85 for the gold for May version. 
and she really likes the necklace. So I think there's, these are also like perfect gifts for people. Kind of my review on Majuri and my thoughts of that. And I definitely want to order more from them in the future. I'm really looking into maybe getting some rings. So next, a very similar brand that actually has a lot of very similar styles is Ana Luisa. So that's the necklace I'm wearing today is from Ana Luisa. And this is called the Ana Rose Gold. So I think really recently they changed all the names of their jewelry because I don't remember it having these types of names. But this is rose gold and a lot of the jewelry I wear is yellow gold, but I do have my engagement ring is rose gold. So I thought it would be nice to have a rose gold necklace that I could wear if I wanted to match my ring more than I wanted to match like all my piercings. Though I did just get a rose gold conch piercing. But yeah, so this is a, they also do have this in yellow gold and silver, I believe. So the Anna rose gold is $49 and this is 14 karat rose gold on sterling silver. I find that like Anna Luisa compared to Majuri is slightly cheaper. So this being 49 versus kind of comparing to like 70. I've also ordered from Anna Luisa another gift to my sister. I feel like every year when I want to try a new jewelry brand, I'm like, let me just get her something from there. And I got her the Rebecca necklace. I'll show some clips here that I sneakily took before I shipped to her. And this is a moonstone in the stone and it's 14 karat gold over brass. So that is a little less quality than on over sterling silver, but it does keep the price lower. So that's $55 the Rebecca necklace retails for compared to like Majuri that's between more like 70 to 90 and closer to 90 when you're adding in precious gems. And so before I go on to the next brand, let me just show you how the packages are sent without adding any additional gift wrapping. So here is the a box for like Majuri. It's really cute little canvas box. I think really I still save all these and use them for like desk and drawer organization. And sorry about dust and cat fuzz on it. And it has a little bag on the inside, but it does show it on the like velvet pouch. So this is how it shipped the Majuri. So it's a great already like gift bag. And like I said, I keep all these little pouches. So that's how Majuri is sent to you. And then Anna Luisa has this really cute little pouch, which I feel like I could use for a lot of things. So it has like a little velvet pouch instead of a box and just some little notes and it just puts the necklace on this little card. So that's how the Anna Luisa was sent. Because it was my sister, I was keeping it pretty casual. I just sent her necklace in here. But yeah, really nice, cute packaging, great gifts for yourself or for someone you love. And because Majuri and Anna Luisa are so close, I feel like I've kind of been sharing my thoughts while talking about it. But one piece of jewelry, like I mentioned, I really want to get some more rings. I tend to not wear rings daily other than my engagement ring. But I really, at first I wasn't really into this, the dome ring, the croissant ring. But now the more I see it, the more I'm like, that's actually kind of cute. And both Majuri and Anna Luisa offer this basically same exact ring. The Majuri version is $75. It's 18 karat gold on sterling silver. And the Ana Luisa version is called the Rope Bold and it's $59, so a little cheaper. And it's 14 karat gold on brass. So it's very slightly different in terms of like quality of the jewelry, but both still great kind of like I was saying that middle ground between super fine jewelry and costume jewelry way closer to the fine jewelry than the costume jewelry, but a great mid-range, I would still like say it fine jewelry, I don't know, what would you call like $80 item jewelry? I still don't want to say that's mid-range, but I feel like your options when you're buying jewelry are either it's going to be like $2 or it's going to be really expensive, so I feel like I guess it's still considered mid. But anyway, going back to this dome croissant rope bold ring, so you have a difference in $16 in price, but you have also the difference in the materials from an 18 gold plate on sterling to the 14 karat gold on brass. So it really just depends on if you wanna save that little bit of money, if you're already making an order for other jewelry from one brand because you like their designs, but they do offer a lot of very similar designs with a slightly 
slightly, slightly different price range and material differences. But I would say just looking, like I wouldn't say I prefer one brand over the other. I think if I if it, they were the same designs, I would probably go with Majuri just because the 15 to $20 extra price for the slightly better materials, I feel like would be worth it to me at this point. But if there is a design on Ana Luisa that's not on Majuri, I would definitely be willing to buy it from there. I really like the look of all their stuff. Um, they also have a lot of like, recycled uh, materials and gold and stuff. So I really love both brands and I think they make great gifts for yourself or someone else. Now here's another Instagrammable jewelry brand that doesn't have quite the same like direct competitiveness that Majuri and Ana Luisa have, but I thought I would throw it in here if you were looking for kind of any of these brands. And from them, I only have earrings and that's kind of their big thing. And that's Mason Miru. And they're really known for their like ear party Instagram ads. And I'm all about that. I love ear piercings and I have quite a few. So I wanted to like mix up what I had because I think I just really had what I got my piercings in. And when I get them done, I tend to be pretty, pretty simple. I don't want anything that could like obstruct healing because it takes me so long to heal a cartilage piercing. But anyway, I wanted to mix up and have a little ear party of my own. So I decided to order from them because again, I was looking for that middle ground of I didn't want something so inexpensive that it could be detrimental to healing of a more of a body piercing. And I didn't want to spend $400 or $275 on ear piercing since I wanted to get three, even like four, at the same time. I was like, that's just way too much money. So the first thing I wanted was some new hoops and I got these these are Mason Mirror's classic cartilage hoop and they're a clicker design, which I actually really like because it looks seamless, but you know it's secure. And so I ordered two of these hoops and they offer so many different gauge sizes and diameter sizes. It can be a little tricky to know. I should have asked when I got my piercings like what gauge because there is roughly a size for cartilage piercings, but based on your own anatomy, they might change it up a little bit but I ended up ordering it perfectly the right size that I needed. And these are $29 each. So I thought that was a really good price for trying to update a lot of piercings. And these are implant titanium with 14 karat gold plating. So with body piercings that you don't wanna remove, so I wear these in the shower every day and I haven't had any problems. I did read in some reviews, people have had some flaking of the gold plating, which I feel like makes sense in that you're wearing them every day but i really i have not experienced that and i've had them now for like three months continuously in, and i really love them and i love that it's more affordable and that it's still the implant titanium because i think that's really important with body piercings not to just put any type of earring in and also because they actually offer the earrings that are designed for more body piercings I hate seeing jewelry ads where they show like the whole ear party and you go to their site and you're like, you just offer that as a stud. That's not the same as having it being a flat back or being threaded or being designed for the cartilage. I would not put just a regular hoop in your cartilage piercings. If you want to, because these are the plated, if you wanted the solid gold version, they have a seamless design of this that is $59. So still very affordable, especially if you're getting multiple piercings, but if you do wanna go with a non-plated version. Another earring that I got from them, so I got my Tragus Post. Well, it came with the whole thing. So this was this is the North Star design and it was $49 and it's an internally threaded piece. So. And this you also have to choose your gauge and your length and that can be tricky to decide online what exactly you need and the stud on this is titanium that is 14 karat gold plated but the earring so that's good because that's the part that's like internally going in your ear the earring is 14 karat gold covered sterling silver so i think that's where people are commenting having more of the flaking of the gold plating, but I have not had any problems with that. 
I've also had saw in some of the reviews that because the post is pretty short for an internally threaded, the piercing I had before was a a push, it was a threadless, that people do say that they've had it like come off because it's not there's not so many threads in it because the post is short. I do tend to like tighten it per, kind of frequently. So if that is something that bothers you, you might not want to go with Mason Miro's threaded flat back earrings, but I haven't had any problem with it. And the stone for the North Star is cubic zirconian, but I haven't had any problems with that either. And I think it looks really cute, especially if you do after your piercing is fully healed, want to change things more frequently. I feel like the $49 price range and based on these qualities is pretty good and that you could have multiple and then move them out and then you might not have any trouble with the flaking of the plating or with the threading being short if you are someone that likes to change up your, your jewelry a lot and they have so many cute designs that are available in the thread the internally threaded flat back and in stud form so you can do like a true ear party with that Finally with Mason Miro, they offer they have this offer of just pay shipping and getting a free tiny crystal stud set. And these retail for $29. And I was like, let me just throw these on here. I was ordering other things, so I already qualified for free shipping. So I was like, these are like completely free. And they're super cute. And these are 14 karat gold plated brass. So again, kind of similar to what I was talking about with Anna Luisa and the jury, that covering brass is a little cheaper than covering sterling silver and this is again a cubic zirconian so like the jury tends to put for their white stones white sapphires for their lower version of the diamond versus some other sites using cz's but i think they're really cute it came with a pair i only have a second hole on one ear and i just wear this every day all the time even in the shower though again with gold plating you probably don't want to do that but I do tend to try to like still clean it regularly and take it out every once in a while because it's and just to check that no flaking is happening and I really haven't had any but the reviews do mention that but I really love them and I like that I can just keep the same second hole in and then switch out my bigger everyday jewelry so yeah I think that covers all of my jewelry purchases in the past year trying to move my collection from costume <laughs> jewelry i'm just thinking of how many times i bought necklaces and earrings from forever 21 and i'm like why they just break so easily they turn your skin green all of that while still trying to stay on somewhat of a budget and not be spending 200 300 on one set of earrings i'm just not at that point yet i know i just turned 30 but i'm, I'm not there yet Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. I hope this maybe gave you some ideas on which brand might be the best for you. I really love everything that I've bought and I would recommend any of these sites. Definitely read reviews and think about what you personally are looking for in a jewelry brand and what price range and qualities that you're interested in. And also just what styles, that's what jewelry is all about. It's fun, it's expressing yourself. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope it was helpful. If I have any discount codes or links for any of these brands, I will put them in the description so you can save a little bit more money when you are trying these things out. And I'll see you next time.